Afterlife, just pwn this program and get a flag. It's located in this folder on the shell server. All right, let's take a look at that. Here's the program, it's got a win method for us. And it's an artificial piece of code taken from the book Secure Coding in C by Robert Secord. Uh, that walks through DL Malik, Doug Lee's Malik. And the hint gives us some slides from the University of Indiana on Doug Lee Malik. The key thing to understand about uh, this Malik is the idea that we can view the forward and backward pointer in this doubly linked list of freed blocks as the user data in some occasions when something bad has happened. Like the other problem it was a double free. So the same memory had been freed twice here. We're gonna to get to actually access memory after it's been freed. So after it's in this view over here, we're gonna to get to write over these pointers. Then we have this doubly linked list of uh, free chunks and this unlink macro. So when we have something, like here's an example of a block that's in the middle of a link, uh, three, of these un, uh, three of these three blocks, if we unlink this one, it needs to change these black arrows to be these red arrows using this macro. So this forward pointer, right, it's back, needs to go to this one's back, and this back's forward needs to go to this forward. So here's the two lines of code that are particularly relevant. The forward, it's back, which is 12 bytes in. So this pointer plus 12 gets set to this pointer. And this pointer plus eight gets set to this pointer. So you'll see in the code here that we have freed first and then we're going to write over it, and then we're going to malloc. Now they did conveniently throw in uh, this extra malloc here. The reason that's important is because in DL malloc, there's sort of a special like last freed. And so if we don't allocate something else, we wouldn't actually end up in this doubly linked list. So this malloc forces the last thing freed to end up in the doubly linked list so that we can do this exploit. So, Again, what we're, we're going to do here is we're going to overwrite this data. It's in this doubly linked list. We're going to overwrite it so we change these forward and backward pointers. So what do we need to do there? So what we'll do is we're going to create some shell code. Our shell code will push the address of win and then return there. And then we're going to specify the got entry of exit, because there's an exit at the end of the program, minus 12. The reason it's minus 12 is because this back pointer is 12 bytes in. So we take this minus 12, it's going to add 12, and it's going to set the pointer for the got entry to exit to be first plus 8. It also sets first plus 8 plus 8, or first plus 16, to be the got entry minus 12. So if our shell code were more than eight bytes long, that would be a problem. And we would need to, in our shell code, jump over the four bytes that will be overwritten here. But our shell code is less than eight bytes long, so we're not gonna have a problem. And so we're gonna have this first plus 16 is gonna to point to the got entry for exit minus 12. The got entry for exit minus 12 plus 12 will equal first plus eight, All right? So first, gets this eight bytes followed by this. That's what we're putting in here. Okay, so we can simply run this and we get our flag. What's after? 